Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be your theme for the reading today brought to you by the Sacred Destiny Oracle Card Deck. This is the card of diligence. So we'll see what you might be chipping away at, what you might be looking into opportunities, but let's consult the tarot here. What advice do you have for Libra, please? What messages does Libra need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Libra? All right, general reading today, and then we will uh, wrap things up here with the angel answers. I was just smoothing down the devil's chest if you wondered what was going on there. Okay, you've got the high priestess, the world, interesting, there's an evolution, death. Three major are kind of right out of the gate, leading to your heart's desire, and oh my god, the ace of wands too, the three of pentacles, the chariot, wow, wow, this is an incredible reading. I, I don't know if I can hold up enough cards here, it's like the entire reading is phenomenal. You're going to have a big change of events, but boy, is it spectacular. I'm just going to do these in order here because I like to do it that way. The chariot comes before the wheel comes before the world. But I'll tell you what, let's see. I think I can master this. I believe I mastered holding five cards at once. Look at that. Whoops, let's do it like this. Here we go. Okay, you have a new beginning that is going to take off like a rocket ship. It is fabulous. If it's a relationship, you will not be able to get enough of each other. You have travel and moving here multiple times. So those of you that are planning a trip or you're actually planning a move, it is like it takes flight. All the planning is here though. You have cards of planning and preparation here that I do feel are going to be important for you. So with this, um, with this high priestess, I mentioned you have an evolution, at least I meant to. So we have here, before we go too far, we have Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer, Leo, Taurus, Earth, Fire, Water going on here. But this high priestess energy, this gown turns to water, you're in flow. Now, I said before, I do feel like this is a card of planning and preparation along with the card of diligence. This, though, is getting into flow and it's like once it starts to click and come together, there's nothing stopping this. Now, she is, of course, too, she's not in a real hurry, by the way. So if you've kind of been just looking and observing and biding your time and you've not been panicked, then here you go. She follows her intuition. She's a wonderful analyst, all right? So anything that needs analysis, you start off in just the right way with this. And she's also, too, has information. So there may be some kind of insider information regarding a job or if you've been doing research, if you're starting something new, perhaps you're going out on your own as a consultant or running your own practice of some sort, doing something like that. Even if it's something, you know, a lot of jobs are changing, right? Like accounting is changing. And so if you work for a firm and you're saying that's changing, I'm going to do some things on my own and capitalize on the internet, capitalize on what people are doing online because there's a lot of money to be had there. I do feel like it's not just jumping in, all right? It's laying, really laying the groundwork and getting yourself ready for any kind of a move or a job change. But I feel like it's going to move forward easily. Now, in terms of this world energy, it is really the pinnacle of success. There's no better card in the deck here, really, because it's the height of everything. It's everything you came here to achieve. And so in terms of a job or a move, you move and it's like, uh, this is exactly where I'm supposed to, to be. I keep getting like the smell of salt water, of sea air, and that gentle breeze. All right. Now, if it's a trip too, and you're saying, no, I'm going to the beach. Good. You're going to love it. This is freedom. It's happiness. It's it's total success. The, the time in your life cannot be more perfect when you have the world. This is when you want to stop time and you say, how can it get any better than this? Now, with a relationship, boy, does this person come in strong. Might be a water sign. Could be a cancer. I do get that with that chariot energy. But it really is a partner for life. And it's a relationship that evolves. So if there are some things that you need to negotiate that have to do with moving in together or you're living at a distance. I get it that way too. I feel like it's going to be fairly easy and effortless. It's like you're just doing sort of the next right thing. 
without getting too overly emotional about it, right? She's dancing through change. She's not sitting there being worried about anything. There's not a worried bone in her body or a card in this deck. So in this particular reading, there are worried cards in the deck. Pardon me on that. So you don't have them though. How about that? So with this world energy, I do feel like with this, it, it is a time of a life without limits. You're going to have a new move coming in and it feels easy. It feels effortless. And the death card says, let's have a really exhilarating change. How about the first day of the rest of your life begins right now? And so with the death card too, if you've had some mistakes in relationships, or like I said, if a job is changing and you can tell the tides are changing and you're not completely secure there and you're going, I think I'm going to leave before before I know what is coming comes. I do feel like with this, you're going to take matters into your own hands. If it's a move in terms of a housing situation or a career, or even if it's a housing situation where you see things, the market changing, and you're like, I'm going to capitalize on that now. I'm not going to wait until the pendulum swings again. That could be another 15 years here. So I do feel like if you've been a bit hesitant to make changes overall in your life, this is an end to that pattern. This is being able to start on a brand new clean page. You have the wrapping up of an old cycle and the beginning of a new one. You've got transition all over this reading. So your time is now. That's what they keep saying for you. So with the death card, you let go of the past. You let go of anything that I heard haunts you. Okay, we'll do that. And it's a, like a new life. It's a rebirth for you. And so death is not about the ending of something that you want. It's really the ending of things that just don't work in your life. You've got a dawn of a new day coming in here when we have the death card. It really is one of the cards that we embrace in the tarot because we know what it brings. So I definitely feel like too in relationships, if you've had relationships where the other person wasn't very flexible, especially if you're navigating change, I feel like this person will be a breath of fresh air where they just can move easily from shift. I heard cognitive shifting. That's a good thing, okay? They've got nice, strong executive function skills. Um, we like that, but I do feel like with this, it is gonna be about moving and changing. So the Ace of Cups is wonderful. I heard unbridled passion. That came into another reading weeks ago, and they kept saying it. And so I get it with these two together, though. Um, it, this is like magic. When these two get together, move out of the way, okay? This is where everything takes off. So in terms of a relationship, I mentioned this person will go to extreme lengths to navigate things with you. They're not going to be stubborn and difficult to work with. I don't get that at all. This is a person who really, what will they do for love? They'll do a lot of things I just heard. So with this energy of the Ace of Cups, it's a new beginning that because there is love here, it makes it easy to be flexible, right? We become inflexible a lot of times when the mind is at the helm, we're out of alignment with love, and we're starting to get kind of snarky and snappish. So whoever this is, they're neither one of those two qualities. I do feel like with this, so it's like there's an easiness in the relationship. So those of you two that have been single for a while, because the high priestess is also the virgin of the tarot, she represents celibacy. I do feel like that's about to change. The winds and tides of change are coming because the um, Ace of Wands is quite a passionate energy in a lot of different ways. So it can be, like we said, aligning with your heart's desires, but in a relationship, it's great chemistry. And it really is having a very strong physical attraction for one another. So those of you, like I said, that you haven't really had that in a while, you got chemistry coming in here, no doubt about it. But this Ace of Wands, too, is a very empowered energy. So things seem to click, 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 I hear. Like they just move forward. And it feels like it's it's the energy has so much momentum to it. And it's the excitement. It's the thrill of life. It's why we come here. We don't come here to be knobs sitting around. We come here to be in, excited and in that energy of having some momentum moving forward. We come here to learn and grow. And that's what this will do. It brings an expansion and momentum. Like... We we're talking about with any kind of a career change too. If you are doing something that is on your own, you're kind of branching out, even if you're doing it as a side venture to kind of test the waters and see how it goes, I do feel like it's going to quickly take off. And so those of you that are looking to work for yourself, I get it that way. But if it is about a move and then working at a new place, I also feel like that's going to be a very easy transition. So this Three of Pentacles has you bringing in those pentacles and teamwork, collaboration, new ventures come into play here when the Three of Pentacles is in a reading. 
but it's also to working with people so easily. So any transitions that you have, I do feel like they're going to go well. Now, if you're the one leaving on vacation and it's like people are covering for you, I do feel like if you're leaving copious directions and notes, not only are those appreciated, but they're actually going to use them. So when you come back, it's not a nightmare. You're not like, oh, great. They've just let everything slide. I do feel like they're going to be able to hit the ground running pretty easily. Now, this energy of the chariot, we've talked about a little bit. This is truly with the death card and the chariot. Wow. All right. Get ready to move forward. Your skills are going to be easily utilized in this energy. This is like one of those times where you'll feel like your skill set is being represented by the payments that you received. It's also, too, saying that things are going to move forward easily in your life. The chariot's powerful and strong. It drives everything forward. So there's no there's no reins here. There's nothing controlling these sphinxes except for his mind. So there's nothing here to hold them back. Everything moves forward. So if something's been stuck, I don't see it continuing. It's also, too, though, with this, the whirlwind of the wheel comes into play here. And the wheel drives you along with the chariot on your path of your most joy and happiness. You also have with this two portals into the divine in the wreath of victory and the wheel. High vibrational stuff. So meditate, quiet the mind, really be in that place of feeling the awesomeness of the power within you because things are going to change and change quickly. Now, unless you resist this, it is on. The changes are on and they're for the better. So let's see here, Libra. What a great reading, what the angels want to tell you. Messages, please, for Libra. What else? Advice for Libra, please. You've got listen to your intuition, so allow your intuition to be your guide. And the high priestess, too, is a very spiritual energy. Remain positive. The situation will improve, I should say so. You've got perfect timing and you've got there's something better. So ask this or something better. Don't allow there to be a governor over your requests. Anything is available to you. Libra, I love you and I'll be back again soon.